Well, an entire team of cancer specialists worked together at the Spectrum Health Cancer Center to bring patients up to date information throughout their treatments. And joining me today is Dr. Christopher Brady with more on urologic cancer and what to look out for. Good morning to you. Good morning, Leanne. Well, okay, first of all, urologic cancer or oncology, what exactly is that? Yeah, a lot of people don't even know what a urologist does, mm -hmm. but uh, we treat uh, diseases of the general urinary system, mm -hmm. and one of those is, of course, cancer. Um, everything from the kidneys, the ureters, and the bladder, in males and females, and then the male genital system as well. Okay, so tell us about the, the surgery that's involved with this. Uh, the su surgeries vary, um, and uh, the techniques vary as well. Uh, many advances have been made. Uh, traditional large open surgeries are still performed for certain types of cancers, uh, but now we have other therapies available also, more uh, minimally invasive therapies as well, uh, using the Da Vinci robot, especially uh, and other laparoscopic techniques. Mm -hmm. So the Da Vinci robot, so that makes it just that much more precise, I'm assuming? Yeah, it's nice for uh, precision. Uh, patients get smaller incisions, and uh, there's less blood loss when we do surgeries with the Da Vinci robot. Oh. Um, it's a new technology that everybody is embracing very well, especially at Spectrum. Okay, all right, well let's tell people at home about what they can expect, especially if they're a patient when they come to, Sp to Spectrum and get treated. Sure, well, uh, the great part about coming to a large organization like Spectrum is that uh, we offer an integrated care for the patients. Um, you know, you see a multidisciplinary team when you come, if you come see a urologist or a medical oncologist or radiation therapist, all your care is coordinated when you come in uh, to us and uh, all the appointments can be set up through the integrated offices that we have. Wow, it's, it's, it's interesting how times have changed when it comes to something like that. Certainly, yeah. It's better for the patient and uh, it really expedites care mm -hmm. in times when uh, there's much uncertainty that often comes with a cancer diagnosis. So the goal is to really usher patients and families through the process as quickly as possible. I guess, how would people even know to, to turn to you guys? What kind of okay. symptoms may they, maybe they're experiencing? Good question. Um, oftentimes, uh, patients see their primary care doctors with specific complaints, and the primary care doctors are really the ones who have the overall knowledge of, of what is going on with their patient and who to refer them to. So we often are referred by a, a primary care physician in the group, uh, and then they come and see us and they can see any one of the team members and then we can help figure out where they need to transition their care to. Right, is there any other type of uh, cancer that you guys treat, that you guys deal with? Yeah, we deal mostly uh, with prostate cancer is one of the biggest cancers that uh, a urologist deals with. Okay. Because it's so common, one in six men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer. Uh -huh. uh, and then we deal with bladder cancer, kidney cancer, and testis cancer are the other main cancers we deal with. Okay, so uh, once again, if you uh, need, uh, we always talk about prevention, that's a big thing first, right? So is there a certain age where some of these tests should be run on a regular basis for, for men? Yeah, it's a good, good question again. I mean, uh, prostate cancer has come in the news lately. Mm -hmm. um, the, the task force was presented uh, talking about screening specifically, and that's a big, a big part of cancer detection. Mm -hmm. And your primary care doctor oftentimes is the one who is screening you, and we also do some screening. The screening is individual now, um, but in general it starts around when you're 45 to 50 years old for men okay. uh, looking for prostate cancer. And someone that might be having some symptoms of bladder cancer, of course that could be men or women, so. Could be, correct. Both. Correct, and uh, oftentimes they come in, it's oftentimes a diagnosis, just uh, you have some blood in your urine, mm -hmm. uh, oftentimes picked up uh, again by a primary care doctor with uh, little or no symptoms, mm -hmm. same thing with the kidney cancer. Okay, well some great advice for everybody. We want to go ahead and, and uh, send them your way so you guys can help them out there at Spectrum. If you want to go ahead and reach out to them or if you've been diagnosed with cancer and would like a second opinion, always call them for consultation at 1-855-SH-CANCER. And to reach out to Dr. Breedy, uh, he's located at 4069 Lake Drive Southeast, Suite 313 in Grand Rapids. And give them a call also, 616-267-7333. Visit them online, spectrumhealth.org backslash urology. Dr. Breedy, thanks for stopping by. Thanks, Leanne. Absolutely.